Today what I want to talk to you about is cleaning out your primary drain line. Mechanics for non-mechanics. Your AC system, your air handler, which sits either in your attic or maybe it's hanging in the garage or it's uh, sitting in a closet somewhere, okay, that has water. You'll see a PVC line coming out of the unit. Okay, well, what is that for? Well, when the air blows across your evaporator coil, the, con the, the water that is inside of the air, as it blows across that cold coil, condenses onto the coil and drops down into a pan called your primary drain pan. That has a line called your primary drain line, a pre PVC line connected to the pan. And so the water drops down and out outside generally, okay? so. When that primary drain line gets plugged up with earth algae, and everybody has earth algae um, in their, uh, you know, that, that starts to build up in your PVC line. Some people have it much worse than others, but it builds up in everybody's line. That's one of the reasons that we do a maintenance check, you know, once a year or, one, or twice a year to clean out that drain line, okay, so that your water can uh, easily go outside because otherwise it's going to start to build up. If that primary drain line gets blocked up, and this is one of our most common calls, is the primary drain line starts to get blocked up with a bunch of earth algae and snot in there, and the water, instead of leaving the house, now it starts to build up in the primary drain pan, and some people even have a secondary drain pan in their attic, and that water starts to overflow in the secondary drain pan, and eventually it overflows in that onto your ceiling, and now you're talking about thousands of dollars to um, to fix that. When if you use this tip that I'm about to tell you, you will save yourself that headache. Okay, so I recommend that you get a, a shop vac. Okay, this is the shop vac that I use right here, and you'll see this particular line. This is about thirty dollars at Lowe's. Okay, and this particular hose here fits perfectly onto a normal three-quarter inch um, dr uh, primary drain line of PVC. Okay, it'll fit directly on there, and you just turn it on and you suck off, suck out all of that junk in there. Okay, sometimes you'll have uh, the safety switch, you'll have, um, uh, uh, like I said, sometimes in the attic there will be a secondary pan where the water starts to go into the secondary pan and you'll have a safety switch that uh, will actually turn the unit off. So this is also a lot of our calls when people say, hey, nothing's blowing, I don't, the unit just turned off. Well, that's because there's a safety switch upstairs that's saying, I'm going to turn off the unit so that it doesn't produce any more um, uh, condensate so that we don't have a blockage of water or water overflowing onto your ceiling. And so all you do, you hook up the vacuum um, to the line and you just turn it on and suck out that drain line. And then if there's a safety switch, that safety switch will get unblocked and the unit will turn back on or um, you're just going to avoid a bunch of problems by doing that. So I recommend doing that at least once a year. If you don't already have an AC guy coming out, which you should have an AC guy coming out once a year, just like you get your oil change, you know, every three to six months you should have your uh, unit looked after at least once a year but if you haven't or in addition to that if your line is still getting blocked up just get a $30 uh, vacuum cleaner at Lowe's you know or Home Depot put it on the drain line and turn it on for about say two minutes and just let it run and uh, go ahead and shut it off look inside and you're probably going to find a bunch of gunk in there. So you do that every three, th three months or six, three months if it's really bad, but usually every six months or every year and you're going to be fine. 